Welcome, welcome. I'm your host, Michael Crawley, and you're listening to the OSHA Oops Podcast, brought to you by God Safety. My name is Michael Crawley, and this is the OSHA Oops Podcast. Let me just tell you, this is one that scares me to death, Rick. I, I, I really don't <laughs> like heights. I, I hate the heights. I hate them all together. I just, they bother me all together. As a big man, Rick, I just find myself crawling on scaffolding always makes me cringe, right? I know it can probably hold my girth, right? Yes. But I'm telling you, I'm terrified of it. It is terrifying, Rick. Are you a heights guy, Rick? No, I don't care for the heights at all. Listen, even on a plane, Rick can't have the window seat because it's the heights. <laughs> he feels like he's going to be sucked right out that little hole. It's going to be absolutely terrible. We're talking about scaffoldings today, and we're talking about a little thing that I have seen so much that you really need to make sure you keep uh, you, you keep attention about. Keep your attention focused on this. Rick, tell us what we're talking. This is uh, Regulation uh, Title 81644. Yes. It says the working platform shall cover the entire space between the scaffold uprights except for the open yeah. area under the back railing. Uh, such open area shall not exceed 10 inches in width. Now, when they've got this, you've got these poles that are in the scaffolding, and the panel's got to go par to bar there so that they, uh, and a lot of time the wood that you're using or the metal scaffolding that snaps together doesn't truly go between those two railings. That's the problem that this code is talking about. And a lot of these steel things that lock onto the bars, they truly don't fill those poles between the scaffolding on the planks. That's what the OSHA inspector is popping on. That's the problem. Rick, well, how, did the, uh, how did OSHA tie it to this business? Well, they actually had two instances two. on this, oh. but it says that they failed to ensure that the working platform covered the entire space between the uprights. And in this case, they were wood platforms that they were using, and they were just not wide enough to cover that space in between. You got to make sure that's there because if somebody falls, they can't have tools or equipment and go between there, and that really is a tough spot to be. Of course, and that was a forty-five hundred dollar violation without even any injuries. Scaffolding is something that you really need to make sure you inspect. If you need some help with it, give us a call. We'll send one of our team members out there to take a look at your scaffolding to give you a fresh set of eyes or ojos, if you will and make sure we get this done right. My name is Michael. This is Rick Roman. He is such a good man, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for coming. Thank you. To learn more about safety services we provide, head over to GodSafety.com and check us out. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time. And remember, stay safe out there.